Hi there everybody, it's UK independent demonstrator Helsey here from slimmerstylish.com. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm using the Positive Thoughts Cling Stamp Set from the mini catalogue by Stamping Up. This is such a cute textured stamp set. I love it. This is the card I made. This is not usually a Helen type of card. I feel like I should clarify this. And as I was making it, I hated it. And then when I put the butterfly on and the sentiment on and I put it onto the crumb cake, it's now one of my favourite cards. So I don't know how that works. I mean, I love my memento, I love my bright colours and I love my blends. And I think because this was so different to me, it was the reason I didn't like it. But the more I look at it, the more I have fell in love with this card. So let me show you how to put it together. You need a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This is nine and a half centimetres by 13.8 centimetres. I'm just going to pop a piece of paper underneath that because I'm going to be stamping off the paper here. The colours that you need for this project are Coastal Cabana for the butterfly, Balmy Blue for the flower, Soft Sea Foam for the feather, and then Smoky Slate, which is what the sentiment and the um, background bit is. I've also got a scrap piece of paper as well because I'm going to be doing some off stamping here. So I'm going to start with a smoky slate and I come in with the leaves, ink that up and then I'm going to stamp it once there and then stamp it onto my paper. So that second level stamping, I've done the first there and the second there so it's not as dark. I'm going to do exactly the same here and there I'm just doing it three times as we go up the page don't worry this is a textured stamp set so where it has these gaps on the leaves that's not you that is actually the stamp set it's a textured stamp set so that the wee leaves look worn and I love that effect I'm going to come back and do the sentiments in a minute, so I'll leave the smoky slate to the side. But I'm going to come in now with the balmy blue, and I'm going to do exactly the same with the flower and the balmy blue. So I'm going to ink it and stamp it off, and then I'm going to stamp it onto my card. Ink it, stamp it off, stamp it onto my card. Ink it, stamp it off, stamp it onto my card. I'm only doing three of those. I've decided I did three on there. I'm going to stick with three on that one. And that's the balmy blue done. Soft sea foam for the feather. Ink it up. Stamp it. Ah ha 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 ha. Give me two seconds. Let me see. No, I didn't second stamp this. I did this straight away because the soft sea foam is a lighter colour. So I didn't, yeah, I did this straight away. As I was doing it, I remembered that I did try one here. You see, and I've covered it up where I second stamped it off because I thought it was too light. So I'll just do it with one. There we go, I think. I should do one more down there. Yeah, there we go. I've then got some scrap whisper white here and I've also got a little panel here which is exactly the same length as my card and when I actually cut the bases so this being 9.5 centimeters and 13.8 when you get two 13.8s together the A4 sheet has about that much of a gap at the bottom so I always keep these because they're great for sentiments they really are smoky slate Sending positive thoughts and feel good wishes. Oh, what a great sentiment. I love the font on this as well. So I'm just going to stamp that down. I'm doing that straight on. I'm not going to go off and on because with sentiments you want that to be really clear. And over on this one I'm using Coastal Cabana. I've got my sheet of paper from earlier. There we go. Ink up the butterfly. Stamp it off. There we go. So it's secondary stamping again with the coastal banner. And for this, I'm just fussy cutting. And 
the the butterfly does has have the little antennae I've cut those off I don't know about you but I do not have time to sit and try and cut round little little thin wisps like that so I've been really um really harsh and I've cut them off I don't think my paper butterfly needs one I'd never cut one off a real one that's just harsh but <laughs> my paper butterfly really doesn't need them you are fussy cutting that makes it easier I always find is to use the lower down part of your scissors I think it's a bit more manageable than if you're trying to use a tip all the time you get you get jagged ends if you come down here for your fussy cutting it's a lot easier a lot more manageable There's my butterfly. So I'm just going to bend him just a tiny little bit. And I'm going to pop some snail on the back of him. I'm not using a glue dot. You could use a glue dot. I'm just popping the tiniest bit of um, snail on the back. And I'm going to pop this up with some dimensionals. The reason why I'm using snail rather than um, glue dot, which I would ordinarily use, is because I want this to be half on and half off. If you use a glue dot, it sticks a bit too well for me then to manoeuvre it, is my view. They're very good glue dots, but you can't unstick them once you've stuck them. From cake for the back in. I'm just going to pop that on there. And then I've got my card base, which is a piece of the very thick whisper white. So this is a thin whisper white that I stamp on. This is a thick whisper white that I use for my card bases. I cut it in half and then scored it in half to make a tenfold card. You might have noticed that I'm being a bit weird with my glue and I'm applying the glue to the base and then sticking the front on. Normally I'd stick it from the front onto the base but because I've already put my butterfly on and he's flying, uh, I didn't want to squish him back down. And that's the card. Like I said, it's not a slim and stylish card. It's not a Helen card. It's not a card I usually make. There's no blends, there's no bright colours, there's no blacks and ribbons and things. I love it totally different to me but it's one of my favorite cards that I've made what do you think love this set you can purchase this set it's called positive thoughts it's available from my shop so if you go to slimandstylish.com go up to the header and click on buy you'll be able to pop positive thoughts into my shop and add this to your shopping basket if you are purchasing any items from me don't forget to use the hostess code and I will send you a little thank you gift. Thanks for joining me today. If you've enjoyed this project do subscribe for more or head over to my blog slimandstylish.com for more inspiration. Thanks everybody. See you soon. Bye.